Hello there, my Titan movie peeps. We finally got ourselves the first trailer for Godzilla X Kong, the new empire. And man, it was one glorious hyped up trailer. Seeing the boys side by side teaming up for a threat, that's all I really wanted. I'm really not expecting much other than to be super entertained by the big blockbuster spectacle of these two legends collabing together. And it feels like they'll deliver on that. But aside from that, what I'm gonna do here for you guys is giving you my trailer breakdown along with my reaction, pointing out some things you might have missed speculating about the plot where they're headed and whether this is the end of the monster verse or maybe they're setting up more but i don't want it to just be about my opinion i really want to hear from some of you kaiju fans out there are you liking this heightened weird reality where we've come from in the monster verse everything from kong rocking an enhanced arm to a pink godzilla the villain in here like are you digging it as well as any of your theories down below okay so just starting off here kind of reviewing the trailer before we go into every specific detail i really liked it man i i know there's people who have some faults with the last Godzilla vs Kong movie and I know it's not perfect but it was very entertaining and I thought it was awesome just to see those guys battle it out. The idea here now that they're not going to be enemies and instead teaming up for a bigger threat I think is cool just again that shot of them running together I jumped up and down the first time I saw that reaction on the clips channel by the way but it is kind of crazy to see how far we've come in the monster verse I mean if you go back to like the 2014 Godzilla movie you would think this reality was trying to to go for a grounded realistic approach of Godzilla existing and now here a sequel to Godzilla vs Kong we have a freaking enhanced arm a pink Godzilla with a brand new form basically going super saiyan some people feel like it's gone too cartoony and maybe it's jumped the shark personally I love what they're doing here. I kind of like this sci-fi weird enhanced world where you do have things like Kong sporting a battle axe, getting that enhanced arm, Godzilla getting into a cocoon to have a new form. I don't know, for me it fits into the world and I much more prefer it instead of them just taking kind of a serious grounded approach, which could be awesome. Godzilla minus one was great, but here I just kind of want to be entertained. But all right, now going into specifics from the trailer, I'm going to try going in what I think is in the order from the movie beginning to end here because the trailer does seem to jump around a lot well the first we had heard about this movie before we even knew it was titled Godzilla X Kong the New Empire and that it was even a direct sequel to Godzilla vs Kong is that we were hearing this was going to be another solo King Kong movie and that it would be taking inspiration from Son of Kong and looks like those rumors have finally been confirmed because the trailer makes it extremely obvious that we're meeting a mini King Kong is that a mini Kong <laughs> I'm loving these shots of what looks like King Kong just running Hollow Earth, or at least the parts he knows of, with a herd of titans behind him following like he's their leader, then coming across this mini King Kong. We were all wondering if the movie was going to address whether Kong was clapping some hairy cheeks on his spare time, but looks like no. He's going to be an adoptive father, meeting an ape who's most likely lost his family to the villain of this film, and Kong, being the good guy he is, is going to take this little one under his wing and look after him. If we go based off some of the Funko Pop leagues, some are saying that the name of this character could be Soko? Suku? I I'm not great with these kaiju names, but th this is the spelling for it. And I am going to be curious about this aspect of the movie. It doesn't exactly look like this Kong is of the same species of King Kong. It looks like he's more related to the species of the villain Scar King in here and has maybe a little bit more orangutan in him. I've already even seen some people theorize that it could be the son of Scar King himself and Kong will do a better job raising him. But as the trailer continues on, we see that some things are starting to go abrupt in Hollow Earth. We know from the last movie, some humans have set up a base in Hollow Earth to continue studying it and seeing what kind of things can be discovered from it, leading them to find what looks like an underground civilization of ape-like creatures that appear to be ruled by the villain of the film Scar King. The few shots we do get of the villain I think do look badass. The main thing I wanted this trailer to do is kind of really show me why this guy is worthy of Kong and Godzilla to team up and fight and I didn't exactly get that yet. He definitely looks menacing in a middle-aged balding man kind of way but the trailer didn't exactly show me why he's that big of a threat. Hopefully in the movie they kind of have us feel that presence. You do see it in the face of a lot of these apes that do have the similar hand marking that this Scar King is putting around town kind of like marking his territory this also lets us know that this throne from the last movie is most likely his since the door to open it also carries his marking it's also worth pointing out that I believe this is King Kong front and center probably meeting him for the first time and seeing 
what's up man what you doing here now the reason i kind of wanted to go in what i believed was footage order of the movie is because i do believe there is going to be a round one fight of kong against scar king that my boy harry cheeks is not going to do great and i think the man is going to get his arm broken because at the very beginning of the trailer we get our first glimpse of kong sporting this cast or maybe like enhanced arm that is supposed to make up for him having a broken arm which again i'm just assuming but i love that they decided to do this i don't know anytime they do something like this with kong and armor him up give him a battle axe i live for it I, th I think it's badass i've already seen the jokes people made saying he's rocking the infinity gauntlet i think that's funny but i think anytime in this trailer we're seeing footage of kong sporting that mechanical arm it's because he's already had one fight against scar king and it just did not go his way and since the humans tend to help kong out a lot like bringing him back to life in the last movie they're probably going to heal him up a bit and get his arm back into shape the other thing worth mentioning here is i want you to take note that godzilla really isn't part of this trailer until the last 30 seconds i was watching this trailer reacted to it going this doesn't feel like Godzilla's in the movie very much. And then they do save our big boy for the end. Thanks to IGN who revealed some first looks to us the other day, we knew that we would be getting an evolved Godzilla with a new form that would have sort of a power up. But the trailer gives us a bit more hint to how he gets this new evolution and power up. There appears to be this civilization underground in hollow earth, whether it's the same civilization that the little kid from the last movie came from or a new one. This has been hinted to in previous Godzilla entries where we get to see kind of this ancient civilization that worshipped Godzilla. Hopefully we get an explanation of that but with all the pyramids down here it looks like it's right underneath the Egyptian pyramid and again since I'm assuming there's going to be a round one battle against Scar King that both our legends are just not going to go good in I think Godzilla also gets his butt whooped causing him to be on the verge of death where they maybe have to find this hidden power source that'll evolve Godzilla into a much more powerful way enhancing them both getting them ready for the big battle because these shots here of Godzilla in his new form look really badass some people were on the fence because all we were getting was just toy leaks and merchandise leaks but here I like it I, I don't mind that it's pink at all I've already seen other Godzilla fans bring up the fact that it's very reminiscent to the design of Godzilla 2000 and this could be a modern interpretation of that but even just seeing like his gills glow pink and the spine and the atomic breath I I dig it i think it's really cool bringing us to the finale of this trailer that just has our boys teaming up side by side probably charging after scar king or whatever threat is lying in this movie and i really just can't get enough of it seeing godzilla sprint is one of the most badass things i feel like we rarely get to see that the man is very much a slow approacher but seeing kong and godzilla sprint side by side that battle better be good adam wingard was talking about how he has like eight minute long sequences of just pure cgi kaiju mayhem and i'm hoping a lot of those elongated scenes are part of the finale of this movie because the third act i think is what's really gonna blow our minds when these guys are teaming up to defeat scar king only thing left now is just kind of speculate how the movie will end you know with us maybe thinking that kong's looking a little bit older here i wonder if they were gonna pull the card where they kill him off in this movie and the torch is sort of passed to this younger Kong but I think I would rather see Kong kind of raise a kid and find a little bit of peace in that so I don't think Kong will die at the end of this movie and they'll definitely cap this off with a trilogy and have these boys team up once again for an even bigger threat probably one a little bit more nostalgic to Godzilla fans I know fans have been wanting people like Destroya in here or a kaiju from the past given a modern interpretation I like that this movie they brought in an an original villain but if they're gonna complete the trilogy gotta go with somebody familiar we'll see if the movie teases that off but overall i'm digging it I i'm liking where this movie's headed this trailer sold me I throw it off to you guys how do you feel about godzilla x kong the new empire and whether you think we are gonna get this trilogy or this might just be where it ends anything and everything be sure and like subscribe follow me on twitter 3c films or on tiktok at 3c films but as always don't forget team kong baby team kong